2020 CrossFit Games season has been unlike any other in the history of the sport. A competitive year that started with the Open way back in October of 2019 will finally come to a close more than a year later in the birthplace of the sport itself. Five women are all that remain and they'll battle it out amongst the dusty hills of aromas for the title of fittest woman on earth. Three times Carrie Pierce has been the top American woman at the CrossFit Games, but after securing her spot in the final five in 2020, she's got her eyes set on ending a six year podium drought for the American women at the Games. Pierce flipped the switch when things turned upside down in stage one, notching top five finishes in both Bam Diane and the handstand hold to battle her way into stage two and bring herself one step closer to the one thing that's eluded her, a CrossFit Games medal. After three events, things were looking grim for two-time champion Katrin David's daughter, but the woman, nicknamed the Sled Dog, put her championship pedigree on full display in day two as she came charging out of the gates with back-to-back -back event wins in Nasty Nancy and the Max Handstand Hold to catapult herself back into the top five for good. The only woman remaining in the field who has beaten Tia Claire Toomey in live CrossFit competition has secured a top five finish at the games for a sixth consecutive year with her sights set on a potential fourth career CrossFit Games podium. One year ago, Haley Adams made history as the youngest woman ever to crack the top 10 at the games at just 18 years old. This season, the young phenom secured her shot at yet another record by finishing five of the seven stage one events in sixth place or better, including three consecutive fourth place finishes to end the weekend. A podium finish in October would mean an end to the American women's podium drought and Adams breaking a decade long record held by Annie Thor's daughter for the youngest podium finisher in CrossFit Games history. Brooke Wells' Redemption Tour booked a week-long stopover in Aromas this year after a heartbreaking 2019 saw Wells get cut from the competition after a costly footfall penalty in the sprint. In stage one, Wells had a near flawless run through seven events as the only woman to finish every test inside the top 10. With a career best finish at the games already in hand, Wells will look to pick up where she left off at the ranch in 2016 when she won the deadlift ladder and took second in the ranch mini chipper in hopes of securing her first career CrossFit Games podium. The woman standing in all of their ways is the three-time reigning fittest woman on earth, Tia Claire Toomey, who will look to build on her already historic run at the top with a fourth consecutive CrossFit Games title and a sixth consecutive podium at the Games, which would move her solely into first place, all time for the women for the most podiums ever in CrossFit Games history. In stage one, Toomey opened with three straight event wins and added a fourth in the awful Annie finale to give herself the overall win and keep things firing on all cylinders heading into stage two. We're almost to the finish line for the 2020 season. Stage two action kicks off Monday, October 19th, as the 2020 Reebok CrossFit Games return to the ranch in Aromas to crown the fittest woman on earth.